Now it's time to dig some holes. Not with this. It's time to make some virtual holes on Tinkercad. Any object can be turned from a solid object into a hole. So let's uh, work with this nameplate that I made before. Uh, first thing I want to do is uh, is make these letters into a hole. When letters are raised on an object, like you see here, they are said to be embossed. When letters are carved into an object, they are said to be engraved. So let's engrave these embossed letters. Uh, first thing I need to do is ungroup this object. So I'm going to ungroup it. We did this in the last lesson. Now I'm going, going to choose the, the word, which is my name, and I'm going to embed this into the uh, plate. So I'm going to click on this little black arrow. If I hold down on the left button of the mouse, I'm going to drag it down into the, uh, the name plate. Now let me undo what I just did and make the nameplate transparent so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. I'm going to click on solid, make that transparent. So if I go back here and embed these, oh, click the wrong thing there, click on the letters. Now I'm going to move these letters into that nameplate. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and make the nameplate solid again. click that transparent thing. there you go now they're embedded into it but I want I want to carve them into uh, carve them into it and make it engraved instead of embossed so I'm going to click on the letters and over here I'm going to click on the on the icon in the uh, the shape uh, box called hole and it turned the letters into a hole. Now it doesn't look like a hole yet because you still see the outline of the letters. But if I select everything and group it again, then it carves them into it by making the hole. So so now I can rotate it and you can see they're carved into it. Pretty cool, huh? Now if I want to make a, a nameplate or a, let's say a Christmas ornament, for example, and I want to put some strings through it, so I'm going to carve some, dig some holes in the near the corners up here. So I'm going to go up here and pull over a cylinder, and I'm going to make the cylinder the size that I want my hole. And so I'm going to say five centimeters by five cent. Oops, hit, hit the wrong one there. I'm going to click on the back button. Um, five centimeters here, and five centimeters there so now it's now it's a hole that has five centimeters in diameter now I want to bring this over to where I want to put the hole and I want to click on that little black arrow and dig it down in there now if I go down to look at the bottom side I can see it's poked all the way through there now it's a solid object that cylinder is still a solid object so if I click on it to select it, turn that cylinder into a hole, and then when I group it, now it carves that hole in there. So now I can go here, so now you see that I put a hole in there. Now I can do the other side. So uh, I don't have to grab this cylinder, I can grab this cylinder here because it's already a hole, or I can grab the solid cylinder and turn it into a hole. It could be done either way. So let's go ahead and grab the one that's already the hole. And I'm going to resize this. Five. Five. And I'm going to make sure I drag it down. Let me move over so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay. So I want to I want to drag this hold this cylinder down. Make sure it goes all the way through and then group everything and it will dig the other hole. So you can make any object into a hole. So let's go down and, 
and try one of these other uh, objects here. Um, let's say, all right, here's a heart. So let's say I drag this heart over, and if I want to turn this heart into a hole, I can, and let's make it a little bit smaller, I can bring this heart over here and embed it down just a little bit more. Now I'm going to click on the object, turn it into a hole, and group it. And now I have a, uh, made a uh, hole out of that heart. So that's how you make holes in Tinkercad.